Hovsby, a suburb of Sweden's capital Stockholm, engulfed by riots four days ago. On Saturday, the scene of Sweden's worst riots in years was calmer, though the clashes that began here on Sunday have spread over the last week. The violence has exposed a fault line between the well-off majority and a disenfranchised minority, often young people with immigrant backgrounds. Community leader Arne Johansson blamed the centre-right government's policies for the crisis. He says there are few activities or opportunities for young people. Youth worker Ali Kale, who grew up in Hervsby, is more positive. He says residents banded together to stop the worst of the violence and urged other Stockholm communities to do the same. Some were just stunned. On Thursday night, this school was burned down in nearby Krista. One is angry and sad and wonders why they do this, to destroy things for the children. Integration Minister Erik Ullenhag says Sweden needs to remain open and tolerant. We can never be in the situation where we let some kids throwing stones represent all the foreign people living in Sweden. We have 15% of, of the Swedish population born abroad today and we are proud of it. The rioting was apparently set off by the police shooting of a 69-year-old man.